I go into Heidi here from Lumpology.com and tell me, does your image editor suck like mine does? Well, let me show you. This is mine. It's Microsoft Paint. And believe me, it sucks. Well, did you know that you can use Blender as an image editor? Well, if you clicked on this video, you were probably wondering that. So, allow me to demonstrate. Here is Blender. Click to make this go away. We will be using a combination of 3D of our 3D view to edit our own images. Okay, without further ado, press A. Let's start by editing the 3D view screen. A twice. Press the delete key or X to delete all the objects in the scene. Press Shift A and add a plane. Um, then we're going to need to make our plane the dimension of our video, of our uh, an image. So let's find an image that I would like to edit. Huh, not very good finding images. Okay. Let's say I would like to 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 to, to randomly cover color over top of this. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select Blender, drag a new out, new open screen, select UV Image Editor. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of the timeline. We sorry. I'm going to get rid of. Oops, Daisy. I have to get rid of the image editor for this. I'm just get first thing. Get rid of your timeline. You're not going to need it. It's just a bother. We don't need to have it. In UV image editor. Now I'm going to hit the open button. I'm going to go to my Blender textures. Hit this button up here so I can view it all. And find the texture I want to edit. I am going to edit. Uh, this texture here. So I got my texture right here. So now what I'm going to do is my 3D plane. So if I go back to my textures and I simply I find uh, the texture I want to edit in my documents we can, and I click it, I'll just scale, drag this out. We can see the dimensions down here. Now we know that this texture is 400 by 330. So what we're going to need to do is go to this object panel here, drag her up. We're going to do the, up the scaling. So it was 400 by. Okay, let's see. So in this case, Y is up. If we press 7 to go to the top of perspective, and 5 to go to orthographic. So Y is up. So I'm going to, so we know for sure that the longer, the bigger number is the length. So 400, I'm going to put X as 400, uh, nope, what I'm going to do is going to go 4 point. Okay, because, and, because we're just going to scale it down. And now it's the Y is going to be 3.50 or 3.5. There, now we got our image. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tap uh, the materials button, hit new, and that's all we're going to need to do. Uh, then hit textures, new, uh, make sure it's on image or movie, this is on UV, not, and this is on flat. Okay, we're going to select this button, select our texture, uh, I'm going to, uh, no need for that, uh, hit t the tab button. Uh, move our mouse over cursor of the 3D screen. Go down here, go to edit mode, or just use the tab button. Hit U, and tap the unwrap. Now that's going to unwrap it on our image. Now if I tab out, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to here, and oh, not material, switch it to texture view. So we can see our picture. Now what I'm going to do is gonna go down here, and I'm going to go to texture paint. Over on the side here, we have our little texture paint thing. Okay, and let's say I just want to... Now, 
what I would like to I would use is all of these colors here and I would say how I want to do it. So if I just want to make my image slightly lighter, I'll leave it at lighter in the green shade of things. I'll increase my radius. I'm just going to do that. Quick, simple, I have increased the shade of it. Now, per se, maybe if I wanted to, uh, if I press Control Z, I can undo that. Maybe I want to darken it green air. There we go. Or maybe I just want to random doodle on it. So what I'll do is I'd go to color. I'll decrease my radius. Maybe I'll do red. There. Doodle, 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 doodle. So you can get some very cool effects out of this. Now the doodle is like a paintbrush. Now isn't this like one of the best things you've ever done? It's quick, easy, and you can get all this quality out of it. Race alpha. This is like an alpha eraser. It's so cool. If I look in the image editor here, it's literally making a see-through, an alpha see-through texture. Is that not amazing? So this is one of the... Blender is by far the best image editor I've ever seen. Now, but this isn't good enough. We need to save our new amazing texture with all the doodles on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go hit to image, and this won't hinder the original image. Save image as, in my textures, I'm going to call this tut test, just for no apparent reason. Save image. And now if we go to, he to our image editor, we have it right here. Full image, completely. This is like, un this is so different from the original image. And it's so it's that it's so easy to just edit your images in Blender. Like I don't think I'm ever going back to paint here again because I can just use Blender to edit my images, and it's easy. And you can edit so well. So yeah, I was just amazed once I found this editor. And now you can use this editor on all of your things. Now one thing, texture paint vanishes even if you save once you leave the file so you'll have to if you were making a game aim with don't use the one you just edited because that all the work you did on it will vanish as soon as I exit let me demonstrate that if I save this on my desktop as a random blah, 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 blah. there now I leave and go back to it all the the texture paint work is going to be gone or not. Strange. It usually doesn't go. It usually vanishes. Hmm. Anyways, but this will show up in uh, renders if you like add a light or something. <laughs> if, if I go to object mode here, I'll just add a light to it to show you. Uh, emit one. She said, these things will show up in renders. It's amazing. If I make this per se uh, texture show alpha, uh, that didn't work. Anyways, you can pack it with this button, and you've got this amazing editor. Why not use it? It's I. It's so much easier to use compared to like Photoshop and all of those things. So what I'm saying is, stop using whatever you're using. Use Blender. It is amazing. <laughs> so yeah. Hope this helps. Uh, yeah.